Page. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know where to begin at, man. Two things. Know. Two things to preface this. One, you can't say this is a bad video game adaptation. Yeah. You really can't. That's like the only thing you can say that's not bad about it. That's like the only thing you can say that's not bad about it. Rampage the video game had no plot. You were just given monsters, you destroyed cities, ate people, uh-huh. and gained points, and that's it. It spawned two sequels, and that's it. This movie had a fucking nerve. This movie added a plot that you kind of figured it was going to do. It was either two things. I told you this. It was either A, some science, some scientific corporation did some genetic bullshit. Lab two, code. Lab code. <laughs> or two, aliens. They got in to do for the aliens when I really feared it was going to do aliens, man. Two. I personally feel if you didn't put The Rock in this movie, nobody would watch this. Yeah, nobody would have watched this. I st- yeah, I still kind of feel that way, man. This movie took a premise. All it was was you t- you got three monsters beating up a city, and that's what they fucking did. Yeah. They they gave you backstory because you got you got to connect to the monster somehow, and Within that was The Rock. Fifteen minutes of the movie after the ape, the first you know George, that's the name of the ape. You know, gets the thing, kills, he kills a fucking grizzly bear, and, you know, gets taken in cage. Naomi Harris, a scientist character, basically spouts out exposition. Just exposition dumps a lot of stuff. And that's on top of the, was it, inter, inter, Intersect or whatever the fuck name of the corporation? I don't know. I say Evil Lab Co. <laughs> yeah, Evil Lab Co. Evil, evil, evil Lab Co. Industries. That's who it was. Run by, you might as well say brother and sister, because. That's what it was, brother and sister. Brother and sister. Um, evil McEvilsteins. Um, the evil twins. The, the evil twins. And, um, you know, they're doing. They were doing, apparently, I guess, illegal genetic stuff, hence why it was up in space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Basically, stuff. it was some growth hormone that was supposed to be used. Look, it's going to be used on humans, and somehow it went opposite and got used on animals, and it transforms them into whatever that's in their environment and such so you got george it's just a gorilla so it only affected him yeah you got the wolf it affected the wolf and whatever else was in that environment too it could fly i don't know how the fuck it did that that was weird Probably whatever they, animal else they never the really woods. explained that shit the alligator made sense because it was spawned with the komodo dragon which i'm like it's fucking florida of course of course but which you know, i'm just I don't like see the komodo dragons down in florida like no no that, no no dd dd the way crazy Florida is, and I don't know if you remember the news where a lot of people were importing a lot of Dude, exotic animals. Florida. I believe everything's down yeah, there. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. People are importing real talk. People are importing exotic animals in Florida. So yeah, par for the course. Par for the course. Oh, uh, you know, but but no. Nah, see, the thing is this: the movies. No, all right. If you want to say prefaces for anything, let me say this: this movie is bad. It really is. It's bad. The plot's bad. The one-liners are stupid. The everything's predictable. Here's the thing: it's fun. Yeah, it is. It's actually fun. It's the rock, so there the rock are makes different. Fun. There are different types of fun. There's everything is silly. There's jokes abound and all the rest of that shit. Yeah. And then there's Geostorm fun, where everything is taken way too goddamn seriously. Because, because, like I said, Gerard Butler is like you said, taking it so serious. Like, okay, the storm it does this and blah blah blah. This movie's like, nah, nah. Well, nah, we're not even gonna go that far. <laughs> Rampage, <laughs> science. Rampage had the fucking nerve. I mean, it has the nerve to bring up science shit, but then immediately backed it up with um hijinks, I guess. Yeah, wacky um, hijinks. The, the, there was some jokes that me and Chris made like uh, I said yo the only reason why they doing it like they showed all uh, they have backstory on George and just so happened the backstory with The Rock is that former special forces former special forces cause of course part of an anti-poaching unit which yeah, I didn't know, know existed yeah, I'm like, yeah they exist okay okay. 
Because here's the thing. Hunting for antlers, and I, I explained that during Triple X. Um, hunting for animals is not necessarily bad, especially in Africa because they have a set up that people can hunt animals. Now, poaching, that shit is fucking illegal. You're not allowed to do it at all, especially the, the animals that they poach because that means you're not controlling the environment, X, Y, Z, yeah, 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 whatever. But it's, fuck all that. With that backstory, we also learned that The Rock's name in there in this in this Okoye. His last name now is look, Okoye. Now look, now look, Rock is a Samoan black guy. There is I don't I don't believe a shred of him. Nah, could be look, look, there is there's but there's light skinned now, nah, yes, there are light skinned Africans. Not fucking like that, no. It's uh, fucking Samoan tribal it, it, tattoo. Yeah, that's why I saw you. He stood up one time. I was like, yeah, I love that African tattoo he has on his arm. Speaking of which, I'm just going to throw it out there. How you like that old white lady tan? Let's both to shh in the movie there. Yeah, yeah. Like, so I don't enjoy. Dripping. Here's my thing. I don't enjoy disturbing people. I really don't. But when the rest of the theater is doing it and you're shushing us. Us? Bitch, if you don't turn around and look at this dumbass movie. Because here's the kicker. Her husband did the same thing. What the fuck was that? There was like five moments where I was like, can you be quiet, please? I'm like, can you shut the fuck up and watch the movie? I ignored that half for like twice, man, but whatever. Anyway, no big deal. I, I like it when people tell me to be quiet. Well, because like I said, I, I do. I do. Because I, mean, most I got of the time, it for Triple X because I was like, come on, Ice Cube. Come on. Nah, Triple X, yeah, we were kind of loud, but it's like, yo, white dude, shut the fuck up. Have you ever been in a movie theater before? Have you ever got knocked out by a nigga? I, hope, I bet you didn't. Now turn your fucking ass around, nigga. Like, <laughs> you know, in this case, it was like, white lady, do you hear everybody saying the same thing? Because four seconds later, we just said that, everybody in the movie there. What? 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 Come on. There was one person where every time they tried to explain the plot, they just bust out laughing. <laughs> What is this? Because yo, she was dying too. The chick was dying too because it was like they were trying. Because Naomi to... Harris went full scientist, like see the genetics, like see what happened. This. It was mixed with this, and I'm when I made sure that this happened. This happened also. Uh, the healing I, factor of a hummingbird. You just heard the person like you know, and the part where I laughed at, and I think that's why the white lady turned back, back to me and told me to be quiet. Where she's like, yeah, am I? And my little brother was dying of cancer. I'm like, of course he was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they did it three times. They did that like five times in the, the first, first time, movie, the man. The first time when we see her, we see the picture of her brother. I'm like, CD. Hey, yo. See this for, plot point. Hey, yo, for, for a black woman that got locked up for two years, nice. she had a fucking house. Yeah, like she was pretty. Who did you fall on? Like, well, yo, man, who, she had some white privilege. She had some, she had some fallback on that, but she had a full on house with. A, no, 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 you know what? To be fair, she did work for a corporation, so maybe she was like, all right. Yeah, oh this no, what she's we're gonna a, do. Dude, she, she, you she, fall on the sword. Uh, 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 we'll pay for no, your house. no, you know, no, no. You a black woman that fell on the sword. You ain't getting shit. Come on, dog. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, maybe if it was Diane Lane. It was Diane Lane. Lane. Yeah, it'd be a different thing. <laughs> I like how you. That's my go-to. That's, that's I my like dude. how you brought a Diane that's Lane. My dude right there. Like that's like that's like I need a white woman, Diane, a beautiful white woman. Come on, you. <laughs> um, but um, it wasn't even just that part that got me. Uh, God, what the fuck? She, uh, it wasn't. God, there was another. Oh yeah, in the backstory of George, you see him. He's like a little, you know, little like, little itty bitty gorilla, white gorilla with blue eyes. I'm like, see, see, see this shit. Yo, in the, in the first part where um. The gor- where he killed like a grizzly bear because he got was getting big oh, and man. killed a grizzly bear. the grizzly Snapped bear's the neck. Big, yeah, yeah, you don't see it, but he'd sell it, right? And no, I the leave- bear was sitting on the fucking ground. Yeah, it did. I leaned over to Chris like, see, see, see. The reason why he's still alive because he's a white gorilla with blue eyes. Now, if it was Harambe, all dark and shit, they would have shot that nigga. <laughs> and I was like, hey, hey, D, that brown grizzly bear? No. Lives matter. It was like, Grizz lives matter, man. Yo, I was, I was, I was saying And then shit. the cops show up, and I'm like, dog, if that was a black gorilla, they would have shot the shit out of him, man. <laughs> Credits. No, they would have shot the shit out of the gorilla. I'm like, yo. So, uh, I guess we're hunting down that wolf, huh? Nigga. <laughs> First off, Joe, Joe Monte, whatever the fuck his name is. Joe Monte. I really thought he was going to be a fixture. Like, he was going to be against the rock or some shit. Like, we're going to kill your gorilla there, boy. 
because he had the fucking makings. Here's how they made Joe fucking badass. They gave him the fucking marks and shit on the side of his face. It's like he came right off of doing Deathstroke and they came, they, they left him. Hey, Joe, we need you on a, a rampage. Uh, rampage. Let's what the go. fuck is that? Is that the video game or some shit? What the hell is that? It's a video game. Speaking of video game, this movie had did the sin that Double Dragon did. In the background of the evil rich people who the were rampage. doing They had the Rampage arcade game. Yo, it was so funny when you saw it. Me and like several other people in the motherfucking movie theater was like, what? 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 I, I was loud as shit. Turn the fucking around. What is that? Hey, hey, hey. The movie did put some symbols to the games because when the monsters rampage the city, they rampage. They randomly uh, eat people out of buildings because, okay. Um, they throw tanks at helicopters that flying by. We got the black gruff military dude that doesn't take shit off anybody. The, yeah, I did like it's like yo, this movie missed out on a great opportunity of being um of being motherfucking uh, Keith David, man. <laughs> Keith David is too big for this movie. Keith David had shit to do. He was doing green uh what green leaf? Yeah, green leaf. Yeah, he had shit to do, man. He I'm a pastor, all right. <laughs> I'm a pastor now. I don't think I do this no more. All right, I got that opportunity. Shit should have Bill Duke. Fuck it. Should have been Bill Duke, yeah. Should have been Bill Duke. Look, the um, but the movie itself, like they, the actions are pretty good. The yeah, action is the standard. It's the Rock with Rock being again. I really. Feel it's the shenanigans of the movie that really. The Rock makes sells it you on the shenanigans. It's like you look, look. The Rock puts a guy in a chokehold and literally says he's going to pee himself. But he puts him in a chokehold. It's like all right, cool. You know, it's like I said, monsters throwing shit, going to muck. Military can't do shit. People getting eaten, which I'm like, all right, cool, you know, monsters getting wrecked and stuff. It's it's nothing much to really say on it and stuff. I, I think it's one of those things where it's like it it knows what it is, much like Pacific Rim did. Yeah, it knows exactly what it is. It ain't trying to be Mr. of And again, I look. I debated with somebody about this. The Rock is the only reason why people are going to go see this movie. They're not gonna like if you take the rock out of it and say you put somebody different like I don't know fucking Army Hammer or some shit. Nobody's fucking, <laughs> nobody's fucking watching. Nigga, this movie. you ain't lying, man. Nobody's watching. It's like what the fuck is this Army Hammer? Really, dog? Really? Oh, actually, you know what? It pro- the you know Oscar what? nominated Army Hammer. Really? You know what? No, no. It, you, these movies. You gotta movies put like the rock. This, in you it. have to. You have to. Yeah, that's, that's that's how you sell them. I was really fearing it was another rock in the jungle type of movie again. Though. Came close. Came close. Came awfully close. Um, all right, one last thing to talk about this though is Jeffrey Dean fucking Morgan. Ooh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan pretty much plays Negan. The again. greatest, the greatest thing about this movie. Too. He plays Negan. That's well, all he well, does. Well, son, listen to Okoye. I gotta <laughs> say, the shit you started. Woo, <laughs> no. <laughs> Even the laugh. Even the only thing he missing was the fucking red. He was just in a bat. He was just missing you, Lucille, man. Now, Rick. I'm going to tell you something, Rick. <laughs> cut, cut, damn it, Jeffrey. Sorry, sorry. Got got mixed up. Same Yo, fucking line. He had his jacket showing the gun. I mean, might as well. That might as well have been our motherfucking Lucille, man. <laughs> Yo, and then he talks to the black general. I was like, come on, just say boy. Just say boy. He was getting close <laughs> to saying boy, didn't he, man? <laughs> but he had to give the general some respect, all right? <laughs> got to give him a little bit. Got, got to. Got, got to. to. But, but, yeah, it, it's... The movie knows what the fuck it wants. It's... It, you know what? It, it's it's about as good of a video game adaptation you're going to get on the level of a bad movie. It is funny because, um, you know, I, I find that people still say it's debatable. Because somebody said, because I saw a review literally saying, oh man, does this really finally we get a good video game movie? Yeah, technically, yeah. When they had several. Technically, that, that's yeah. my problem. We have had several of these. Well, because, no, it has to be perfect. Perfect, D. Perfect. Pristine. Motherfuckers still think Mortal Kombat's the best Mortal uh, video game. It is ever. in terms of nailing the aesthetics of what Mortal Kombat is. Exactly, and we said the same thing about Silent Hill. We said the same. Nah, not no nah, Silent Hill, and that's a it good. Almost no, gets it. No, it almost. no, no, no. I'm me, being nice. I'm just saying. No, almost. for me, really, it was Silent Hill got wrong was actually the story. See, they had no problem. I thought the, the second no, one actually, fucked up on the story. No, no. See, all right, all right. Let me. I, I got. Let me get it right. And I think I said it on. Let's talk about that because this is a video know, game. I think yeah, I did yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah, I think yeah, I did yeah. talk about that on on, on um, briefly when I did um, Tomb Raider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think with um, Silent Hill, the first movie where it messed up was that they had their own original story, 
but they that could fit into that motif. Yeah, that, that could fit in the motif. But the problem was, much like Resident Evil, you decided to bring in the video game storyline to yours. I thought the second and it cluttered was, everything the, the up. The second Silent Hill did that. No, the first one did it too. The first one they did, it, come on, even to change the names. Even I mean, I think the, they okay. changed the name, changed what the occult did. Uh, they yeah, changed yeah. to fucking what Pyramid Head did. And the third one, the I mean, the second one, third one. The second one made, the second one, made it even worse. Second Way one, so, worse. The second hole was like Silent you, Hill 3 with a splash of like the, the, the Silent Hills where Pyramid Head is just here, a, a figure head. Yeah, but it. no, Pyramid Head in, this, in the second one was, was a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. You're like, shut the fuck up. And here's the bad thing about that. Even in the second, it like even the the second one had so many chances of being good. But then not only does it fuck over the main storyline of Silent Hill, it fucked up the previous movie that it had. Yeah, so had a good that, premise in that, yeah, that that all together was bad. And then you got like I said, then it's like DOA. DOA, you knew what it was going to be. You know what? I put Rampage in the same category as DOA. It's like. What it's did you stupid. expect? Oh, what did yeah. you expect? It's stupid. It, it nails the fucking game. And yeah, exactly. Much like the away. Oh God, is this movie bad? It's stupid. But, in but terms you of know it, what? It was everything about the game. It's the video game. Hey, you got tits. tits. Got tits. You got you got wacky action. You got people. Wacky ass tits. fucking premise. Oh man, but Donovan and the whole thing. Uh, Have you ever played Don- Donovan, a DOA Don- game? Donovan had the same dumbass fucking damn plot. I'm gonna fucking make a genetic fucking clone of a ninja to take over the world. Have you played one flipping game? So is this movie set in video games back? No. It, if, Hell no. If anything, God, it no. took Rampage and said, "Hey, you know what? Fuck that whole, you know." Radioactive pool nonsense. We'll pull in some fucking science mumbo jumbo genetics and blah 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 and throw it in there and stuff. And that's what you got. It's it's it, it is it actually nails the video game for what it wants and stuff like that. But as a movie as a whole, it knows what it is. It's a bad movie, but it's it's an enjoyable bad. Movie. Yep. And you're not gonna feel. You're gonna be like, oh, it was actually fun. You know. And I gotta be honest with you. I think kids might like it too to a point. Maybe. 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 I say because it's just a it's a stupid movie. Yeah. Yeah. Poor Chicago. Poor poor Chicago. Oh Chicago was gone, bro. <laughs> Chicago was gone, my brother. You thought Transformers 3 fucked up Chicago? Woo! Man, this one. This shit puts all it to shame. It got 9-11, yo. It got yeah, and I'm not even sugarcoat. It got not the 9-11 treatment, man. But anyway, um that's it. I said five out of ten. Oh yeah, five out of ten. Yeah, five because out of you ten. Because you know what saved this is the is the is the wacky factor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because Jeffrey Day Morgan, The Rock. They, they, it should be. Look, in all honesty, it should be a four. But because we were actually legit entertained, <laughs> it gets a five. Yeah, yeah. It, it deserved a five. And then, if you want to say that, watch it. Just, trust watch it. Trust me. Just watch it. Trust me. You, you'll like it. It doesn't set video game movies back. In fact, it, it's one of those. Like, yeah, it's part for the course of video game movies. So. We got a couple more um, reviews coming out. Uh, we're going to try to do Acrimony. Yes. Um, I'm gonna. I'm getting told by my wife to let my let my son on for Nomeo and Juliet. Sure. Not Nomeo and Juliet, Sherlock Gnomes. I yes, I want hey, to hey, see that. The kids, the, the people loved you and his your your son's Wrestle Corner episode. Man, they don't know what they like. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but D, <laughs> but D, or whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I I don't know what's what's the next mo- what's the next movie that we are uh, going to see. Infinity War. We see that shit early. Oh yeah, I forgot we do see that shit early. See it early, man. Universal Fan Con 2 is around the corner too, so yeah, it's, it's also too. On top of our Dragon Ball Super think Dragon Ball panel and stuff, we got a summer movie panel the day before. Yeah, that's so, gonna be fun. Yeah, so so yeah. You got a lot but anyways, of yeah, five out of ten. It's it's rampage. What did you expect? Yeah. Anyways.